here at American Conference Media Days, joined by Memphis head coach Mike Norvell. Uh, coach, you're in a similar situation as a number of coaches around the league. It's been a very uh, much a state of transition among coaching staffs, and it's been amazing to see programs like yourselves where coaches have stepped in to a successful situation and been able to maintain that. So uh, my question to you is, you know, how much did you come in thinking, hey, I need to put my my uh, my stamp on this program versus hey there's a good thing going here and uh, I need to be d- cognizant of that as well. Well, I mean, I think uh, you know, anytime you go into a program, uh, it's 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 going to to match the personality of the head coach, and that's something that you know at at the end of the day, um, you know, coming into Memphis, you know, there 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 had been success uh, you know you know coach Fuente did an amazing job in his last couple of years of, of elevating the program but you know I, I also think sometimes going into that situation is really more challenging than trying to take over a, a place that had not seen any success because you have to do a better job of explaining your why things are going to be different there's there's for for you to operate at a high level you have to you know, unbelievably uh, uh, there's gonna be an unbelievable sense of uh, belief in what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish for your program and your players and so being able to explain the why being able to, to see see those individuals grow uh, each and every day and buy into what you're asking them to do and then that's what's that's what's been so much fun for us at Memphis because we were able to sustain success and then from that you know continue to elevate where our program is uh, compared to where it was four or five years ago. And the other transition for you and, and the team is obviously your track records on the offensive side of the ball, um, most recently at Arizona State and at Pitt. Obviously, the entire team has to be bought in, and there has to be an emphasis on the defensive side to, to win at the level that you did last year. Uh, so just talk about making sure that uh, both sides of the football and all really all three phases are taken care of. Yeah, you know, I think uh, it, there has to be there has to be a plan. It all has to work together. You know, last year uh, offensively, you know, we were able to play at an extremely high level, and and defensively, uh, you know, we had we had some adversity that hit. You know, we had six starters that went went out. Uh, you know, in our first five games of, of last season, um, you know, so we were we were forced to have to you know play some 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 younger guys, some guys that didn't have as much experience. Uh, you know that experience now will, I think, help propel us. You know, moving forward. But you know, even with that, you know, defensively last year we were one of the most impactful d- defenses in the country. We had you know over 30 takeaways, one of the top five in the nation, uh, that helped provide opportunities for our offense to uh, to be successful. We had you know the number one special teams unit in in all of uh, you know the American Conference, and we've been able to do that for the last few years because you know as collectively as a team we know the importance of every phase, and so uh, that's something we take a great deal of pride of, uh, in. And, you know, it goes from our coaches to our players and uh, you overall around the program. Concerning the personnel off- uh, losses, especially on offense, uh, Anthony Miller uh, at the top of the list on down the line. Uh, how was the, the spring workouts in regarding to assessing that side of the ball and getting you prepared for what you need to do in the next month? Yeah, you know, it pr- it provides a new opportunity, and uh, I, t- I use actually use Anthony as an example. You know, when I came to Memphis, uh, you know, he was actually the the fourth leading receiver, uh, you know, on the on the roster the year before. So I think he had five, maybe six hundred yards total uh, to that point in his career, and you know, he made the most of the opportunity that was given him. And you know, two years and about three thousand yards of receiving, you know, that that showed up well, uh, you know, nationally, and you know, obviously for his future. But uh, you know, now the opportunity moves to somebody else, and they're going to take a lot of work, uh, you know, a lot of preparation. But uh, you know, I'm excited to see which individual uh, you know, separates themselves to show they can be the go-to guy. Sometimes, as a coach and you as an offensive coordinator prior to this job, your nose is to the grindstone. You're working with your players, your system, your program, and maybe not necessarily uh, looking around the nation uh, to know what's out there. Uh, during the regular season, certainly. Uh, Your thoughts about stepping into the American Conference and the level of play that you've seen from week to week? It's been incredible, and it's uh, you know I don't know if I've ever enjoyed coaching football more uh, than I do in the, in this league and the, the opportunity that I have. Uh, it's so diverse, and you know, that's one of the things that you look at. You look at you know from the top down. It's such a competitive league. Uh, you know all the schools are, are at a rapid rapid uh, state of progression, and everybody's pushing. Everybody's uh, you know working to do something uh, you know at, at, a, at a high level. And you know when you look at the the, the versatility of the the athletes, versatility of the schemes that you're gonna gonna have to go against. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty remarkable. So, uh, as a coach, that's what you, that's what you like like to be a part of. Good luck this season. Thanks Thank for so the time. Much. Appreciate it.